Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode! As you can see, we finished the roof! Last time! This was all naked! And gross! Well, it wasn't gross, it was still... It was it was a work in progress. Let's, let's just say that. But, uh... Look at it! I filled it in with leaves. We got two... Uh... Skylights. I think that's what they're called. Um, this is our little waterfall... Hot tub bed. If you saw the episode where I made that. Got vines. Coming down. It's pretty cool. We got these rough jungle blocks so we can get up to our roof. I had to bulk up this little area. So that there wasn't just a naked light entrance spot. Look at this. I love decorating with foliage. I love me my plants. They beautify a space and they're easy. Much less complicated than people, to be honest. <laughs> Animals and plants. So much easier to deal with than people a lot of the time. Here's my entrance. Here. Anyways, that is that. We got some... Uh, Glow, what are these called? Glowberries or whatever they are. I love them. And they add great aesthetic appeal. But I wish the spawning rate of the berries was a little higher. Of course, we still got our uh, bamboo and sugarcane accent points with our water features, which I added. Look at that, little guy. See him? It's the water sea pickle. I got a hold of some, and I have a little farm downstairs, so I can get them. Um, also, you may have noticed, the family has grown. Uh, I think last time we only had Roscoe, but now we have uh, uh, Rita, his uh, beloved little wife, that I found not too long ago. And then, of course, they uh, let the magic happen, and this one... Doesn't have a name yet, because uh, I don't have any, any more name tags. I use them up. Um, and then also, we have a cat. I don't know what I'm going to name it yet either. If you guys have any uh, opinions or ideas, let me know in the comments below. And I'll uh, look through them and decide which what I might name them. We got Roscoe, Rita. Their spawn should be. I don't know. Part of me wants to name the cat Skittles. I don't know. It just randomly popped into my head. And, uh. Kind of want to do that. Can I just make a sign so then I can. A sign! Yeah, baby! We'll put that here. Skittles for the cat. Roscoe, Rita. Do I want to stick on the R vibes? Nom, 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 nom. Skittles, the cat. What's a good name of? That would go with Roscoe Rita. I just had a name in my mind and it just, it was just like, <laughs> just there for like a sec. Just like a, a little fart of a second. Ah, oh, that's gonna bug me. And it was a good name too. And I think it started with R. Oh, I know what we could do. Uh, my sister, she just got a new, uh, well, one of my sisters just got a new, uh, Bernie's Mountain Dog. And, uh, the original people that had it named it Rover. Okay. So maybe, those are ideas for now. But still, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if there are any names that just, like, speak to you. Now I can get rid of these signs, because I'm not going to... 
use them for anything else. What? That's full? I'll just have to put it up here. It's out of order, but... That's what has to be done. Put that there, build a box, that, that. Okay, so yeah. The ceiling is done, and then last time we... Let's be honest, I hadn't done much down here. Um, it was kind of just poo -bell. We got some dripstone going. This grows more dripstone. If y'all didn't know that, you put a water source above uh, a stalactite or stalagmite. I always get confused, which is what. But basically, water source above that, and then drips down and grows more. Uh, you can put lava above them, and then they just drip into these cauldrons. And it's an endless lava source, which is nice, because if you're not, you need to be setting up that farm and using it for smelting stuff down. Like, look at all these lava sources I have. I singled them uh, out in their own little things, so they're easy to grab and fill. I need to start using them more. That's just an infinite water source I put there, but I just left it there because I'm like, if I run down here and I'm like occupied and fall into one of these things of lava, I can run over here and quickly get in the water. This is my sea pickle farm. I need to get the wandering trader to trade me some more coral so I can fill this surrounding dirt area with it. So when I bone meal this, it spreads out to the other areas because you have to have uh, coral for sea pickles to grow. So also right down here, this is our kelp farm. I got a sea pickle in here to help with light so I don't get any weirdos spawning in here. You know, you know the weird type. They're just hiding in the water, those little freaks. And then I use that for uh, Oh, for a second, I forgot I, I had lit that. This is my temporary nether thing. I haven't gone to the nether yet, but it's on my list of things to do. I haven't done really much of anything else farther down, but yeah, I'm so, these things are just a temporary. I need to, uh, I'll probably build out this layer a little more. Of course, we still got our little friend in here. Little snow golem guy, apparently he doesn't generate snow since it's in the jungle biome. I made another one uh, farther away in just a regular like birch biome so I could get a bunch more snow so I can make more of them if I ever want to but anyways. Oh! It grew! <gasps> Doink! But yeah, I'm gonna build out this layer a little bit and then I'm gonna have a spot where I dig straight down. Ah, not quite straight down. I almost had you there. You know. A double area for my elevators so I can get to different levels and then I'll just have different farms and different things at different levels, uh, a mine, things like that. But I'll use a water elevator. One will just be a drop chamber that only has water at the bottom to cushion my fall. Or if I was closer to a snow biome, I might be tempted to use like powdered snow. Um, but yeah, and then the other one will just be a basic water column that that has a split offs to each level that I can just go down the water column and just have a little two block area that I can just poop out of and go to whatever I, whatever level I need to. Let's put this in here. Six which should be more than enough. Drag party. Anyways, yeah, the base is coming along. Oh. I need to put more bowls out for you guys. Let's do a nice fishy for the cat. And we'll do another... mushroom stew thing for the dog. Got those. We also need the item frame. But I don't need leather for that, right? Leather. Is it string?
Nope, just sticks. Perfect. You had perfect amount. Out of the way, pet. We'll put that there. And... Don't be stealing each other's food, guys. Roscoe, I'm looking at you. You got a voracious appetite. Also, I'm uh, slowly making my way downtown. Oh, yeah. Slowly building up a little village area over here. Oh, they finally spawned the first freaking golem. Mm. Apparently, I was reading something where supposedly you have to have like 20 villagers for them to like spawn golems in Bedrock. Mm. But anyways, if you guys, I don't know if you guys, I don't think I had this last episode, but this mm. is an area that I dug down. This is my animal area. I see you, Mr. Kitty Cat. Might have to get some more cats and post them around the base to just keep the creepers out. Mm. Um, but I had uh, jungle trees growing in here, and it was kind of like my wood farm. If you're doing this, mm. I suggest don't use jungle trees. I found that out the hard way. Because uh, all my animals, I'd come out here, mm. and every single time I came out here, there was less and less animals. And I was like, what the crap? What the mm. freak is going on? Why are what What's killing all my animals? They were going up the freaking vines that naturally spawn on jungle trees and falling to their deaths. So I had to get new... Well, the chickens weren't, but the occasional ocelot would come in. That's why I had to fence it all off. Um, but I had to get more cows and more sheep. I had more pigs in here, but pigs... Let's be honest, they're kind of pointless. It's like only four times. There's a freaking zombie villager over there. Get him, Mr. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's always freaking zombie villagers coming out. But, yeah, I had to fix this. And then I have a collection system down here. Get away! Might just have to remove that tree. Because it's fine. It's always blocked me. I set up a rail system. Oh, I was like, where is it? Did it stop? Am I going to have to figure out where it's at and fix it? But it runs that entire area. And it collects bamboo, eggs. I got eggs up the freaking wazoo. I need to either kill off some of my chickens or figure out a better use for all these freaking eggs. I'm just going to poop these in there for now. But, yeah. I also want to get some, uh, go to a uh, savanna area and get some armadillos I'm putting there. Because then, when they naturally drop their scoots, the rail system will collect them and put them in here. So then I can give my dogs armor. Um, but yeah. I th I don't think we had this fully set up. I, I don't think we had the dropper, the self-harvesting system set up. Oh, it's a little kitty. Hello, baby. Iron Golem, you're slacking. Do you not see that zomboy? Anyway, so we got our little selves an automatic. Well, it's not automatic. I still got to plant the seeds. I could uh, get a farmer villager and uh, put a little outcropping built out building right here, and have him in there, and then a little side garden with a couple crops in it. And then uh, when I harvest all this, that goes down. But he constantly has crops to replant this whole entire area. I've made that in other worlds, and it worked freaking amazingly. Because then you don't have to replant. You can literally push the button, harvest all the food, and you, the guy just replants it all for you. Uh, we still got our uh, pumpkin and watermelon farm. Uh, I need to uh, expand this, but I think I'm going to do that underground. Um, we also planted some massive freaking spruce, and then we planted some mushrooms, and the brown ones have started to spread. But the red one hasn't. We also expanded our sugarcane farm. I need to just automate that, to be honest. We pushed in some more pandas into our area, so we have more of those chunkalunkas just hanging out. How did... Uh, 
I need to add more fences in some areas because they can get go over and then they can't get back. Because I was like, that guy was... I pushed him in just the other day. So I know he used to be in here. They got bamboo they can eat. Many times I come out and feed them, but... Go, Mr. Iron Golem! I need to set up an actual iron farm. Even though, like, you basically... I don't need a ton of iron anymore because I'm kind of past that point. I got enough diamonds to kind of cover my tools. And now I just need to work on getting diamonds for my armor. But I also have villagers in here that if they eventually take to their workstations, I ain't get enough of them. This is their little hidey hole. There's an iron golem in here too. Oh, that means I can kill the one outside. And I could probably kill this one. Although he'd probably destroy me because I don't have a place to power up. Although I could just use the fence to my advantage. Or just burn him in lava. <laughs> but this is what I've been uh, putting together with. Oh, dang. You guys have been going to town, man. You guys are out of beds. I need to go shoot some more sheep. This is rough. I know. It looks disgusting or whatnot. But eventually... I'm going to uh, expand this area, make it nice, change out all this gross, disgusting stone. Uh, I'm going to build an upper area. There's going to maybe, I, I think I might do stairs. And then I think that would uh, also help with their iron, sp their golem spawning rates. If they were exposed to more outside, because here they don't really, occasionally a zombie will peek at them through the glass, but they're not really exposed that much. So if I build a little outcrop building, I'm going to, of course, protect them, but not completely light up the areas so that the occasional mob will spawn to keep them spawning in stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm getting all sorts of things. Supposedly, also, if you put tons of fletching tables down, apparently fletchers increase the rate at which... The villagers will spawn in iron golems. You don't have a profession? You don't have a profession? What's up with the unemployed bums? Someone become like a blacksmith or whatever these other dudes are. So then I can get diamond armor from you. You butts. <clears throat> Just, just sit on your faces. Crop test you. Let's get for being bums. Also, I just steal this guy's crops and feed it to the villagers to make them breed more, but I'd have to make more beds for them to do that. Let's see. Also, I got a freaking sharpness five diamond sword with mending. I need to work on getting a villager to have unbreaking. Oh, that was so easy. The power of the fence. I'm invincible. Oh, I feel the power. Anyways, let's go kill the one outside too. Ew. I got myself a wee little poppy. Actually, I'll keep the shears out so I can remember to shear some sheep and make more beds for them. They need to take up all the workstations. I love the cat. I love cats in this game. In real life, I'm not a big cat person, to be honest. Oh, he's fast. Oh, there's another iron golem right there. Power of steak, power of steak, power of steak! Hello, poopy doopy! Can't remember if it's three or four. Apparently it's three! Give my dirt back, you bum. We'll get this other guy, seeing as they just barely spawned him in again. You didn't see nothing!
Oh yeah. I got more. What? Where be it your llamas? Are they stuck in the ground? Dude. Why are the uses for packed ice? I remember they were used in like some weird farm. They got like some weird type of... I think it's like basalt or something. What do you even do with that? Like, what did... Can I actually do something with packed ice? Could I put that under the snowman and then he would generate snow? You're worthless to me! Is this a cave? Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Whatever. Don't care. As long as my dudes are spawning in golems, I can... How many cats are they gonna spawn, man? <laughs> Dad, you didn't... Oh, oh! Get wrecked, boy. But yeah, this is my humble abode for now. I still need to make more farms. I'm going to make an automatic uh, sugarcane farm and a bamboo farm. I'm, of course, going to expand my, uh, my pumpkin and melon ordeal. Because these things are freaking great for trading. To the farmer villager, the farmer villager, and the freaking uh, what's the arrow, dude? The Fletcher, make it so easy to freaking get emeralds. Like, if you're struggling to get emeralds, just just get yourself a farmer villager and a freaking Fletcher, because they are the easiest people. You just want to make sure the Fletcher has the sticks to emerald trade. And then most of the farm, basically all the farmers will have the later on when you level them up, they'll have the pumpkin and the watermelon trades. And then you can uh, also uh, use them to get golden car or golden carrots, which, which is what I usually do. I usually trade to the Fletcher and uh, the farmer. And then I buy books from the librarians and also... Holy crap. And also golden carrots from the farmer. Which I haven't done yet. Because I'm just lazy. I don't know. There's two. I don't even have to back up, man. This, they make it too easy, man. This guy's stupid or something? Playing tricks on me. Okay, I've never seen that before. <gasps> oh, boop! He was waiting for backup! I do have keep inventory on, because I hate it. Trying to go through freaking caves and getting just obliterated by mobs when you're trying to retrieve your stuff. So, yeah, you might think that's cheating. I call it being smart. And, uh, retaining my investment. Oh! You feel it? Get out of the way, you bum! They spawn these guys in so fast now. I love it. So juicy. 
<gasps> we finally got people to... Okay, now I can just buy the freaking iron armor. What is this? Smite one? Are you stupid or something? Are you stupid? What is that trade, man? What is that trade? You know what? You don't even deserve a workstation. Huh? Smite 2? All you did was upgrade it. Why would I want Smite? Dude, I'm, I'm sure there's got to be a workstation for you, you bum. Both of you guys. Or do I need to make more? Huh? Smite 2. What is up with people wanting to uh, crap on us with Smite? Do I have more workstations? I had more workstations, I thought, but I might have put them all out. You guys... You got poop. You also got poop. Punch 2. Punch 2 could, I guess, kind of be useful. Breach. What is... Oh, that's one of the new ones. I haven't done the tr trials yet. Sharpness 4. This guy I already traded with. That's how I got the Sharpness 5, is I just bought two of these books and combined them. And then added them to my diamond sword. You guys are crap. Luck of the sea. What are some of these enchantments, you bumps? Okay, anyways, I need to make more bread. I need to shear these sheep. Make more beds for them. Ooh, my crops. Altering the the rows so that they grow faster. They generate golems so fast now. Now that there's so many of them. Joint. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Juicy, juicy. Some of you guys might be like, "Why haven't you dyed your sheep?" I haven't done it yet. Okay. Just, just I don't want to hear it. Don't judge me. Also, if you're going to want colored wools, don't bother dyeing the wool itself. Dye the freaking sheep, because anytime you hear it after that, it's going to give you that color and you can save so much on freaking dyes. Chickens, you guys are uh, going above and beyond in egg production. Let me just say, um, uh, it, it gets kind of crazy. Let's make some bits for y'all. Six more. Oh, yeah, baby. I'll just poop this wool in this chest. Let's do, let's put it there. We got stone that we've been smelting down and then we'll turn it into the polished stone because I like that look better. It's a much cleaner look in my opinion. You guys are ready? <laughs> oh, I got some more beds. I'm stuck. Oh, oh. Like I said, this is just temporary. I will be uh, altering this. Oh, look at these little minions. Look at these ugly little freaks. They're like little proboscis monkeys. If you don't know what a proboscis monkey, you should uh, look it up. They're uh, kind of disgusting. They're like the naked mole rats of the monkey world. And apparently I need to make more workstations, because uh, people have used them all up. Should have one more bed. What? Sorry, nighttime again? So how many workstations we got? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, so yeah, we need more workstations. 
What do I want? What the do do I want? Oh, there's workstations I haven't even don't even have out here. Let's go back to our house so we have access to more supplies and uh, make some of the workstations that we don't have in there yet. Is there a reason for me to put a barrel in there for like the fishermen or whatever is? But is let's do. Should have oak slabs ready. Like, or I guess I can just use jungle slabs. Doesn't matter. Um, let's just do it. It's a workstation smithing table. Also do that. I don't have one in. Oh. Whoa! Just like kick a burp. Sorry about that, but what is a chiseled bookshelf? That looks nice. Fetching table. We have a cartography table. We have those. Isn't there like a loom? String. I know we got string. We got loads of string, boy. Steak for you, steak for you, steak for you. I need to get a fish for you. Here! Oh, they're gonna... Ah, oh, no! I clicked the wrong one! They just bred with their offspring. I'm an abomination. But look, any cute? I'm gonna have an army of dogs. Don't worry. Uh, once we figure out you're not a little rascal, we'll uh, have a little. Have your own. You'll get your own place at the table. What's I doing? Oh, a loom. Nice. Well, that works for that, but that still, we still run into the problem is we need more workstations. Do I have, I have flint. Maybe I just make more fletching. Yeah, let's do that. And then increase the Iron Golem army even more. Let's go. Hello, Mr. Iron Golem. I'm gonna eat your soul here in a sec. What the? What particles were those? Did you guys see that? They were like weird black particles. I thought someone was like running around uh, down here. I wanna try and. I guess these fetchers doesn't matter if I space them out as much. We'll poop that one there. Oh, stupid. We'll poop that there, and we'll poop that one there. I know, guys, this place is driving me nuts it needs a severe makeover but I just need this to work for now I do not need to carry this much freaking stone with me especially when I'm not making tools on a consistent basis let's get our water back out our building blocks Let's go kill ourselves some iron golems, shall we? With our, with our super sword. I had the super sword, man. Come on. Oh, you've been putting in work, dude. Oh yeah. Give me these. My dogs love rotten flesh. I wish you could compost the rotten flesh. That'd kind of be OP. So I understand kind of why. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sucker! Give me that. Give me that juicy, juicy. It's probably not the smartest idea for me to be out here murdering all the iron columns at night. But, uh, hey! We're doing it anyways. Oh, he's fast. He's fast. Not fast enough. Oh. Come here. Say hello. My little friend. Listen. You didn't see nothing. Yoink. <laughs> Get out of here. Are my crops ready? Not quite. I could still harvest them. I do really want to automate it so that the farmer does all the work for me. Then it makes it easy. Then I don't have to replant. How many of you guys have uh, already checked out the trial chambers and gotten your guys, gotten yourselves the new mace? I've heard that thing is OP as crap. How are you doing, Ocelot? This is uh, my moat, Ocelot. It helps keep <laughs> creepers away from the side of my base. I think I got one on this side too, yeah. I just kind of fed them so that they wouldn't despawn, and then I just <laughs> kind of just pushed them in there. Um, to just act as basic base, base defense. Nice. Okay, guys. So, yeah. I gave you guys a rough tour of the uh, base. They're still, it, it's still a work in progress, guys. Like I said. But uh, it's coming along. Why are there so many zombies? Get off my butt, dude. What is this? Do I have like one of those weird night, like zombie raids coming on or is that what this is? Yeah, you hate yourself, you butt. <laughs> Give me those. Mr. Panda Man, go inside. All these freaks are out. <gasps> Ooh, he gave me a carrot. I forgot that zombies could do that. They could occasionally drop, like, carrots or potatoes. But yeah, thanks for joining me on this episode. Uh, it wasn't very eventful. It was basically just a tour of the changes that I've done. But, uh, I'll let you guys get on with your day. And, uh, if you have a minute, Hop onto Minecraft. Play a little bit. It's an amazing game. If you've never played it, I don't know what you're waiting for. Because uh, I'll tell, I'll be honest. I waited years to play this game because uh, I know, I know. I was like, it's 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 a kids game. It's gonna be stupid. Look at the graphics. It's all blocky. It's freaking fun. Eat this. Oh. Yummy. Yummy. Tasty, delicious, delectable. But goodbye now. Catch you guys on the next one.